So when you want to use joysticks in a game that doesn't support access inputs, Anti-Micro is your solution. There's a download link in the video description. Install it and make sure you set the program to run in administrator mode. Anti-Micro detects each controller input and displays them accordingly. For example, let's start with an Xbox One controller. On the top part you get the thumbsticks which represent the X and Y axis, with the options to select which key gets pressed. Still with me? Let me show you. Left stick to left. We click on the tab which currently has no key assigned and we get a representation of the keyboard. From here, you can select which key gets to be pressed by moving the left stick on the controller. Let's say A. We can do the same with up, right and back and there we go. Left sticks is set to the movement keys like in any game that supports the controller. We can go into more options with a stick by pressing the middle tab named L stick. Here are displayed the dead zone, max zone and the diagonal range which are very useful options to set up in a simulator. For example, where you want the axis movement to be faster or slower. This is where the real magic happens. Also, you can apply modifier and assign from presets a mouse control setup in order to move your mouse cursor with the thumbstick. I say in the beginning to experiment with each option until you get what you desire. The same as assigning access to keyboard inputs, you can assign the buttons on your joystick to whatever combination you want in the game or simulator. For example, pressing A and then assigning the spacebar in the interface. But let's say we want to assign the crouch key to B and then set it as a toggle action. Well, it's just as easy as it sounds. Press B, let's say crouch is the left control key and then we assign the toggle before we assign the key and now we have a toggle crouch key in the game by pressing B. Now let's say the game has a combination of key for different options in the game like switching the light. For example, you will need to press Shift plus L to get the lights on. Well, let's assign this command to the left shoulder key. We select the tab and here we go to advance. In this window, we can assign multiple key presses by selecting each button individually in the upper tab like this. Shift plus L and there we go. We got two key presses with one button. More than this, we can make the press as a toggle action, turbo action to get multiple presses useful when setting up a sensitive axis, and a set selector option which covers how the input will behave. Once you are done with your setup, make sure you save it as a profile naming the game and the controller you are using for it. Like this, when you have multiple controllers plugged in, you can assign for each joystick a specific profile. Run the program in background and make sure once you finish your gaming session to switch it off so you don't get key presses when you don't want them. And that's it! Limitless options at your fingertips. Thank you for watching! Please leave your questions and comments down below and like and subscribe if you want to see more ways to play your favorite simulator and games.